Hello everybody, Carla Nicole. Hope everybody is doing well today. It is Friday. And um, so I wanted to talk today about something that I think is very important for us ladies, okay? So I wanna talk about something because I think sometimes as women, you know, uh, single women, we have a tendency to, um, because we're in control of our life, we are um, big about making sure the household is ran properly. We're making sure that bills are being paid. We're making sure that the home repairs are done. Making sure that the you know the landscaping looks right for the house and the home and all of that. We got a lot that we're responsible for as single women. So you know, a lot of times I believe that because of our femininity, because of that, we, our femininity is being challenged. So I want to get to something, and this this is something that came up today that I was thinking about when I was um, just focusing on the feminine. Um, so, you know, being a single mom, uh, you know, it's not easy to, you know, sometimes discipline. I have a son, so I have to discipline my son um, and make sure that he is behaving properly and things of that nature. Well, I was I was doing a, um, a, a program one day. And I was, you know, basically just out here showing about my, my program, which is the Red Flag program. And I happened to have a lady walk up to my table. And, you know, me and her were just vibing and talking and stuff. And she was a single mom uh, of a son. And she told me, <laughs> she said, you know, um, with me being a single mom, you know, I have to really get with my son and show him that I'm not no punk. So... I get my voice real deep and you know I, I, I rough them up sometimes and I do this and I do that and I was like say that again she said I rough my son up and you know I get my voice deep and and you know get real masculine on him and I said you can't do that you can't do that you cannot you cannot be nothing but a woman you know if you have a son that is uh, getting a little unruly you know, you can't become a man and try to get more brute or get more, you know, masculine to, you know, discipline your son. You know, you're always going to be a woman no matter what. And I told her, I said, you know, uh, it's important that you go back to being a woman. <laughs> okay. I was telling a friend this morning, like, you know, uh, as a single woman... You know, we got to sleep light. So, you know, if we hear a sound or something like that in our home, we understand that, you know, it's just us. So we have to be on protection mode when it comes to the safety of our home and things of that nature. So you just got to protect your home accordingly. But that does not mean that we need to become men or we need to become masculine so that we can be the head of our life. So I wanted to say this because I want women to understand that even though you're a single woman or a single mother, you cannot ever be a man. I don't care how, how many uh, obligations you have to, you know, fixing your car or mowing your grass or, or disciplining your son or whatever you have to do that normally would be in the role of a man. You can never be a man, no matter what you do. So we have so we have to be mindful that even though we are women and we have to take control and charge of our life, we still have to be feminine, okay? We don't have to just be masculine because of the fact that we have to take charge of some of the um, responsibilities that if we had a man would take care of. Get back to your softness. Get back to being a, a, a woman again. Tap into that cut, letting cow gone take you away again. You know, um, because what I'm finding is women are getting more brute, masculine, and, you know, they're getting to be more aggressive. And then I'm seeing that, you know, when you're in that state of being, you know, you're losing your femininity. And we as women need to make sure that we encompass and embody our femininity it's important it's vital because you know 
as a woman, you know, um, it's very important that we stay focused on being feminine. Let me tell you why it's important to be feminine. First of all, femininity is the basis of your creativity. So when you are in the feminine, you have a better sharpness with your creativity. So with that said, you know, you become more vibrant. You become more um, exquisite and elegant and graceful when you are in your femininity. And I think what we are losing, especially as single mothers or women that are, you know, single and to themselves, a lot of times we lose our femininity because we're out here mowing grass. You know what I'm saying? We're out here paying bills. We're out here doing things that a man would do if a man was here. But a man's not here. Okay, but it doesn't mean I have to lose my femininity because I have to take on uh, the demands of what a man would do if because of my situation and circumstance And even this I want to give you all this I had a friend tell me she said when I was uh, married to my second husband She said you were a lot more masculine back then You know you You were just a lot different. You know you were you were more in, in the masculine role in your marriage So you were taking on this aggressive uh demand in your life and it just didn't it just didn't become you it wasn't who I believe you were but that's just the role you took on since your husband was more um, or, or less involved with certain demands that a man should have been involved with and when she told me that I was like really? she's like man listen you are you're all woman now but before, when you were in that arrangement, in that relationship, she was like, you just acted a lot more masculine. And I was like, really? Seriously? Wow. So I wanted to share that because I think sometimes we as women forget that if we're not, if we're not careful, we can lose our femininity. We can lose our grace. We can, <clears throat> we can lose our desire to be beautiful. So we don't, we stop getting our hair done. We stop fixing up. We stop, you know, putting on dresses. We stop, you know, uh, doing stuff that we enjoy because we're so focused on, okay, I gotta do this, I gotta pay this bill, I gotta make sure this is done, I gotta make, that, make sure that's done. And we get in this mindset that, okay, because of the fact there's no man here, or there's no man living here, I have to take control of the things that a man normally would control for me. So because of that, my presence and essence starts to whittle back and I start to become more masculine in presence. And then we're confused like, hey, I'm not having a lot of gentlemen approach me. Why is that? We got to stop and look at us. If, uh, if a man, if a men are approaching you like you believe they should, get back to your feminine. Okay? Because men, I'm talking about masculine men, are attracted to soft, bearing, graceful, elegant, beautiful women. So, with that said, when we are portraying this masculine, we're actually repelling the, uh, the chance of being with a man that wants to be in our presence because we're dispute we're going against we're going against the the uh, the blend of enjoining with a man because we're so masculine and I'm not talking about being masculine to the point that you know we're, we're talking deep and acting like a boy or being you know um, in that space or anything like that. But what I'm saying is, when you're looking at it, you're like, hold on a minute. When I got back to being feminine, going back to, you know, refining my femininity, because it's easy to be fake and, and just put on all this extra stuff and, and, and become a hider. Like I'm hiding behind who I am because I don't like who I am. That's the difference. I'm talking about 
really ex ex accentuating your femininity. So that means go back to you. What is it that you used to love? What is it you like to do? What is it that you enjoy doing? Because when you go back to you, it's a beauty to it. And men will draw to you when you are in your feminine. But you'll notice that men don't really approach when you're not in the essence of your femininity. Because it's, it's, re it's repelling against that. It's not attracting like it should. So, like I say, ladies, listen. I'm not on here long. I just wanted to hit y'all with something. Don't lose you. Don't lose your femininity. Don't get to a point where you're like, you know, um, I, I'm good. I don't need no man. Don't don't allow um, previous loss of relationships to destroy your femininity or your beauty. Because when we lose ourselves because of a past hurt, and we don't go back to reconnect our, to ourselves, we find ourselves trying to get this now we're trying to repel against a man's desire for us so how do you do that you become more masculine not necessarily consciously but subconsciously so you're like i'm just going to get away from being mass uh, uh, feminine because men they don't want no real woman no men do want real women men do want beautiful women men do a desire a woman that's soft and kind and creative and in her purpose men do desire that stop saying that to yourself so you're gonna just go into this masculine you're gonna repel men that could be a possibility to partner with you or to be friends with you or to be associated with you because they're not going to draw to you because you're casting off this masculine I don't want nobody to touch me get the hell away from me attitude so how are you going to draw men that really are interested if you're casting off I don't want no man, or men don't, men ain't this, men ain't that attitude. So I just wanted to give y'all that, you know, because I think that, like I said, as a single woman, we can get caught up in getting too overly um, absorbed in our demand of life. Be it that we're a single mom, or be it that we're a single woman, or be it that we have to do obligations and responsibilities that maybe we wouldn't if a man was there. But don't lose yourself in the process. You cannot be a man. I don't care what you do. I don't care how many times you mow the grass. I don't care how many times you go in and try to fix light bulbs or change your own oil or whatever you're doing because there's not a man there. Whatever you're doing that a man would do, but he's not there, that does not mean you can transform into a man. It's just not gonna happen. So you can't be you can't be disciplinarian with your son and try to deepen your voice and become a manly uh, a manly woman to put fear in your son. That doesn't work either. So we have to be more mindful that our femininity is what attracts, okay? Femininity also is a, a perfect thing that you can be doing something graceful. If you like to dance, dance. If you like to write, write. If you enjoy uh, gardening, do gardening. If you like to have a spa day, have your spa days and all that. That's wonderful. But don't lose, don't lose yourself, okay? don't do that don't lose yourself and don't lose your femininity because you believe that there's there's no hope by being feminine that's not true there's a lot of beauty in femininity there's a lot of beauty in saying you know what I can become a woman and graceful okay and I can be feminine and I can put my dresses on and still be a boss <laughs> okay and in that okay as a prime example in that you will attract people that are attracted to your beauty. People that are attracted to your femininity. We don't have to be masculine. We don't. We don't have to be masculine to prove we're out here doing stuff. You don't have to do that. You don't have to be aggressive either to prove I'm all woman and I'm all this. You don't have to do all that. Your grace, your presence, your essence, and your 
absolute demand on how you are rotating in your life means a hell of a lot and actually attracts men more than you can ever possibly imagine because men love the soft woman they love the woman that's feminine they love that so let's not lose it because of our singledom or because we're single parents or whatever still go back to you hey terry so glad to see you go back to you okay go back to finding what it is you love and I'm not talking about what it is that other people tell you you should love. What it is that you love. What is it that you love to do? Put your dresses on, girls. Man, listen. I'm seeing gentlemen out here asking and pleasing and, <laughs> and begging that us ladies put our dresses back on. Why is that? Men appreciate the beauty of a woman. They love it. But we get so caught up in trying to be in the demand of what we have to do that we're losing sight of the fact that we actually have stuff to do but we also have to remember that the beauty of a woman cannot be replaced it can't no matter what we do and so let's just get back to the feminine ladies i just hope you guys all have a wonderful friday and i hope what i said makes sense to you you know i don't want us ladies to get so caught up on you know thinking that we can't you know improve there's always room for improvement it's just vitally important that we don't lose self and the demands or the commands of life because there's a lot of stuff we're demanded to do whether we want to or not but you don't want to lose your sensual self you don't want to lose your beautiful self you don't want to lose your poetic self or your you know, your, or yourself that loves flowers. Be a woman, man. Let's not try to be a man. We will never be that. I don't care what we do. Even if we get a sex change, we will just be a woman that's transsexual. We'll never be a man. So let's get back to the feminine, all right? So I hope I'll help somebody. Share this, please. It's Carla Nicole signing off. Best kept. Have a good day.